Hello to all my Padawans, I'm your Jedi Master today, and I would like to welcome you guys to the full trailer breakdown for The Last Jedi, full official trailer. So, what I'm going to be doing in this is I'm going to be talking about The Last Jedi trailer that came out a couple days ago, and I'm going to be breaking it down and discussing stuff of like what we see versus what we don't, and if they're trying to confuse us or it, what's going on. So, let's go ahead and jump right into this. So the trailer starts out with a voiceover from Snoke, who m seems to be talking to Kylo Ren, but it's extremely possible that he's also talking to Rey, like whenever the Emperor talks to Luke on the second Death Star. He might be talking about, he might be talking to her uh, because she was captured or something. And uh, he says that when she, when he found her, that he saw raw, intense power, and, and beyond that, something special, which is very possible that he might be talking about the fact that whenever Kylo captures Rey uh, in The Force Awakens, she, he felt the power that came out of her, and but there is something more to it than that. That there is something else about her that he recognized. But it's all. But like I said, it's also possible he's talking to Kylo and just uh, and talking about how powerful Kylo is because Kylo is very strong in the Force. And yeah, so yeah. So the trailer proceeds to move on to Race doing the voiceover, talking to. Apparently Luke uh, saying that there's some it's always been there meaning that she has felt the force before but she probably just didn't know that it was the force and then obviously in the force awakens she felt the force a couple of times and the first time that it happened in the force awakens she didn't know what happened she didn't understand but then the second time whatever Kylo says you need a teacher I can show you the ways of the Force, and she says, the Force, and closes her eyes and lets the Force flow through her. She knew at that point that she was harnessing the power of the Force, and that it, and she knew that the entire time she had felt it as a child, the first time that she used the Jedi mind trick on the Stormtrooper, and she had realized it was the Force and it was always there, it didn't just happen. So the trailer keeps moving on and we see Ray doing it, uh, practicing with her lightsaber, and she's swinging and all that, and she stops just right in front of the stone, and I don't know, I'm not 100% sure why she does this, but it's quite possible that it was to show uh, how she can control herself, maybe. But then it moves on and it shows her cracking the ground whenever she's uh, she's sitting there and she's meditating. Yeah, that's why her eyes are closed. She's, that's why her hair's moving all that. She's meditating. And the ground's cracking. The g rocks are coming up and and all that. And Luke is, Luke is freaked out. He looks at the cracked ground and, it, and then he says, To what we can assume is Rey, I've seen a power like this before. Uh, I wasn't afraid of it then. I am now. What does this mean? It could mean a number of things. One, Luke is afraid of Rey. He's afraid that Rey will betray him just like Kylo did. Or, he's talking to somebody else. And that that's a very big possibility that he might be talking to somebody else and that he's talking about Rey. And he might be referencing Sidious, or his own father, or even Kylo again. So who knows with that? If, if he does end up turning Rey away, then it's quite possible that Rey might actually go out on her own. Now I'm going to tell you why I, I think this later on in the trailer, later on in this video. So during the time that, that Luke says that he's seen power like this before, and he wasn't afraid of it then, but he is now. We see a little bit more of the vision that Rey sees in The Force Awakens, which can lead us to believe that we are going to actually see 
more of that vision, more of what actually happened, why Luke went, uh, why Luke went into hiding, why he left, and where he went. We then see Kylo kind of brooding, and he says that the past, you need to kill it. Now, it's very possible he could be talking to Rey, or he has a monologue of some sort, that where he's thinking it to himself, or he's talking to Snoke, saying that he needs to kill the past. It, who really knows about the, with this, though? But he becomes infuriated, and he smashes his helmet into one of the lights, but then we see him flying around his ship, and he is about to apparently, what it looks like is kill his own mother, probably shoot down the ship that she is in. And he, you can tell he's struggling, that he has this face of being torn apart because he knows that if he were to kill his mother, he would completely fall to the dark side. And. You can see in Leia's face that she is probably she probably knows that it's him and she's probably trying to connect with him through the force. Then we get an epic speech from Poe, who says We have a fire that will ignite and burn down the first order, and then it switches to uh Phasma. I I learned how to say her name, by the way. Uh it switches to Phasma and and Finn and they they seem to be fighting and from uh, what it looks like I actually watched the trailer a couple more times it looks like the same kind of um, shock staff that the uh, random trooper in uh, uh, known as TR uh, R8 which is an acronym for traitor um, but the one that he, uh, the shock staff that uh, TR uh, R8, or I'm sorry, T8R8, there we go, uh, uses to fight Finn whenever he's using the lightsaber. Then we have these creatures. I'm not 100% sure what these creatures are. I've never seen them before. Uh, I do still need to do more research into the Star Wars universe. But these seem to be, these might be new creatures, and they seem to be on a snowy kind of a planet, and so we might see a new creature form in the Star Wars universe. We then see Leia in front of a giant open door. Now this is a little bit interesting because we see her earlier, what, what could be earlier, about to be killed by... Kylo and this is why I don't think that Kylo really has the uh, I don't I don't think he's capable of killing his own mother because he knows that once he does he's fully fallen to the dark side and in the force awakens he's talking to Vader's mask or Anakin's uh, Vader mask and he says that he feels it the call to the light which means that he's constantly struggling to stay on the dark side which is interesting because it's the polar opposite of what most Jedi actually believe because most Jedi believe that the lure of the dark side is powerful and staying on the light side is difficult but Kylo seems to be struggling to stay on the path of the dark side because the lure of the light side is is powerful so that's a really interesting thing I think that I think that by the end of the film Kylo will no longer be a dark Jedi but that's for another video. That's for another video that you will, I will have at the end of this video. And I'll leave a link down in the description. It's my theory of why Kylo will come back to the light. But he's constantly feeling this pull to the light side. And I don't think that he has the heart to kill his own mother. After he had trouble killing his own father. You can tell in his face in The Force Awakens. That there's a, he, he loses a part of himself when he kills Han. And with one as strong in the force as Leia is, I don't think that he can kill her without feeling too much remorse. So by the end of the by the end of the uh, the Last Jedi, I think that he will not be able to kill Leia. I think that it's more likely that Snoke or somebody or uh, Snoke will kill Leia, or Leia will die in some sort of big thing. But it's unlikely that that 
Kylo will kill Leia. We then see Rey jump into the water, dive into water, and then come back up and in some sort of cave. Now, this could very well be one of the trials that Luke was tr is trying to put her through. Like, maybe it's like the cave that Yoda sent Luke to or something like that. Who knows? But then we see another shot of Rey, with, but here's the difference. Rey's hair is down in the next scene, as opposed to pulled up in the multiple ponytails. And it, but it's down in the next scene, only pulled up a little bit. And we see her stand before what looks to be Luke. Then we cut to the next shot where we see Finn walking with some stormtroopers. And then it pans across a shot of like uh, probably the probably like a starter story or something like that. Uh, uh, for the first uh, but it has all the first order stormtroopers and all that kind of stuff. So I don't this is actually really interesting because it could mean that. Finn is going back to the First Order for whatever reason, or he got captured by the First Order, or he's uh, tricking somebody in the First Order in order to say Ray or something. There's something more to this scene. And Finn is a bit of a wild card, in, I think, because he was put into a coma, and the teaser trailer initially made it look like he was in a coma for the movie. But I think... Uh, but it, this trailer shows that he's not going to be in a coma for the majority of the movie. That he's actually going to be there for the majority of the movie. And he's going to have some sort of part in everything. Then we hear, uh, and while all of this is going on, we hear Snow saying, Fulfill your destiny. Now this is really interesting because she, he seems to be talking to Rey in this scene. It's very likely that he's talking to Kylo again, like I said. But he seems to be talking to Rey, and this is really this is the part that has really gotten me because there has to be a reason that Snoke would be telling Rey to fulfill her destiny. So I'm not sure what this means. Does it mean that it doesn't mean that Rey has something else to her or is there something that we don't know about Rey? It, because it's also the same line that the Emperor says to Luke on the Death Star 2. So it's highly likely that either Snoke is, is trying to manipulate Rey or something along those lines. We then see Rey in what looks to be some sort of torture, like force torture. Uh, it looks like a mixture of like force torture with the freeze the force freeze so uh, but she's screaming in agony and her robes and her hair they're all sh shuddering and her arms are jittering like this so it's clear that Snoke because uh, you can see Snoke in the background He's clearly torturing her in this scene, but it's not, I, you don't know if he's t telling her to fulfill her destiny in this scene or if this is a completely different scene altogether. Then we cut to the shot that has been confusing a lot of people, including myself. And it's, it's where Rey is standing there and she says, I need someone to help me find my place in all of this. And then it cuts to Kylo and he just reaches his hand out like that. This is an interesting thing because it could be intentionally misguiding us to thinking that Kylo and Rey are actually going to join forces or that Kylo uh, or that Rey is going to fall to the dark side or Rey is going to bring, bring Kylo back to the light side or Kylo went back to the light side is now helping Rey. There's a lot of stuff behind this scene that you could you could theorize. Me personally, I think this is intentional misdirection. I think that Disney is intentionally misdirecting us to make us believe that it's cut, that she's talking to Kylo, but she's really talking to Luke, and that Kylo reaches, extends his hand out for somebody else. Maybe he's asking Rey for help or something along those lines. It's this is a very interesting scene. So that is the full trailer breakdown. It, I know this video is really long. 
but I th there's so much interesting stuff that came out of this trailer and there's a lot of information that are revealed and there's a lot of misinformation that it revealed and there's a lot of questions that it that it uh, stroke up so yeah <laughs> What we now I'm now I'm really confused uh, because initially I thought it was going to be Luke is going to turn uh, Ray into the great Jedi. They're going to fight Snoke and Kylo and then or or Kylo's going to come back to the light side and Finn's going to be Jedi and all that kind of stuff. This trailer shows that there's a lot more to this film than that. There's going to be moral struggle. There's going to be it's going to be extremely dark. There's going to be a scene where Ray's being tortured and Snoke is manipulating somebody, whether it be Kylo or Ray. It's in. I I cannot wait for this film to be released because I want these questions answered. So anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching this. If you enjoyed, please give it a like. It does help out a lot. Tell a friend today by my stars channel. It's pretty awesome. And may the force be with you. Always.